Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Yep. Hope your five senses work, health and strength is good. Or excellent. What? What's up, gamers? We talking about this Activision uh, Blizzard uh, court case. Look. The CMA blocked the deal, right? But the Britain Prime Minister uh, is mad at the CMA, so... The, C the CMA is in a world of trouble now because you can't say... You can't if you can't say you're looking out for the UK and then you have your prime minister. Um, they're mad at you. Um, if um, if if you got your prime minister mad at you and then you got the UK that uh, uh, the people like the prime minister, the Britain prime minister. Uh, that's not good. L listen to this. I got two articles, one from Tech for Gamers and one from uh. uh uh, game rant. The one from Tech for Gamer go like this. I'm gonna try to do both articles in under under 12 minutes. It says here, analysts believe Microsoft has 15 percent chance to successfully appeal against the CMA. Hmm. It says here, Microsoft acquisition of Activision Blizzard for 68.7 billion has been a lengthy struggle, with approval from a few still pending. Previously, the UK CMA dismissed. Microsoft acquisition of Activision leading to its darkest days in Britain. The CMA's decision was based on their perception that the deal would have a detrimental impact on the cloud gaming market. Microsoft intends to challenge this decision by appealing in the Britain courts. However, analysts suggest that Microsoft's chances of successfully appealing the CMA's decision are slim. Why it matters? The CMA is one of the major hurdles for Microsoft in completing act the Activision Blizzard deal, and the gaming giant is not looking to accept the CMA's decision easily. It says here, while the approval of the deal by the EU could support their appeal, analysts at Raymond James said that they believe Microsoft has a 10 to 15 percent chance of a successful deal. This is backed by the fact that there is a solid historical record of the CMA winning against appeals. It says the CMA dismiss of Microsoft deal has also led UK politicians to express disappointment in the decision, including the Prime Minister. Microsoft is now being backed by NVIDIA and several other cloud providers like Boosteroid. It would not be feasible for Microsoft to abandon the UK market completely, but the company may attempt to find a workaround in the case the CMA's decision on Activision does not uh, change. It says here, uh, with the FTC already against the merger and suing Microsoft for this deal, the acquisition of Activision Blizzard seems difficult at this point. The CMA may also have blocked the deal for 10 years. <laughs> however, Microsoft recently earned Microsoft, however, Microsoft recently earned approval from the European Commission and China, giving some hope for the future. Mm. And it says here, despite the re despite recent positive uh, outcomes, the CMA decision is necessary for the deal approval. Otherwise, it may fail. It, it may fail through. If the Activision deal fails through, Microsoft may look for other mergers in the gaming industry. Well, like I told you, this is going to the higher courts overseas. So yeah, this uh, this 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 deal is not over. Let me get the next article out uh, article out of the way here. This from uh, Game Rent it says here, uh, Microsoft now free to close Activision Blizzard acquisitions with caveats. Microsoft is now free to close the Activision Blizzard acquisition, albeit with some major caveat that are like, likely to prevent it from doing so. It says here, whoops, Microsoft is free to close the Activision Blizzard acquisition as of May 2nd, with some uh, notable caveats that will likely prevent it from actually ha attempting to do so for a while yet. This landmark date for the company efforts to purchase the Call of Duty make, make, mark, Maker arrived shortly after Microsoft Activision Blizzard acquisition won approval from China. 
says prior to Beijing clearance, the 16.7 billion deal has already been given the nod by Saudi Arabia, Brazil, Serbia, Chile, Japan, South Africa, Ukraine, and the EU, among several other countries. And while the proposed uh, consolidation is still being probed by Australia and New Zealand, its biggest remaining regulatory uh, challenge lies elsewhere. One of them originates from the home country with the FTC sued to block Microsoft Activision Blizzard acquisition in December 2022. Then it says here, another uh, stateside attempt to block the acquisition uh, materialized in the form of so-called gamers lawsuit against Microsoft fo uh, following its December filing. The complaint was dismissed by a first instant court back in March, leaving the plaintiff with a 20 day opening to submit a reverse lawsuit, which they did. The complaint also filed for a uh, preliminary injunction to block the deal afterwards, which was denied on May 19th. But prior to that, Microsoft had agreed to not attempt closing the deal before May 22nd in order to provide the court with enough time to rule on the injunction on motion. Then it says this was the only remaining uh, def deferment uh, commitment that the company made. Since that deadline has passed, Microsoft is now able to initiate closing proceedings on the deal for the first time since announcing the acquisition in January 2022, but uh, not least because neither the gamer's lawsuit nor the pending trial with the FTC results in a successful injunction motion against the deal. But although Microsoft could complete the Activision Blizzard acquisition without the FTC's approval, theoretically at least, the tech giant is still unlikely to attempt doing so. And anything else? Anything else? Says the main reason for for that lies across the the pond, where the where the British uh, Competition and Market Authority blocked the deal in late April, according to the CMA preliminary findings. Buying Activision Blizzard would potentially give Microsoft Xbox division too much power in the fledgling cloud gaming space. Instead of uh, committing resources towards indefinitely policy, poli policying Microsoft post acquisition moves in this uh, nascent uh, industry, the regula regulators decide that re rejecting the deal was an easier way to protect competition in the cloud gaming sector. Then it says here, Microsoft is hence unlikely to attempt closing the deal while the CMA's decision still stands, that largely because the only feasible way to actually complete that transaction without the CMA's approval would be for Microsoft Gaming Division to pull out of the UK or at the very least stop offering cloud gaming service in the country. The company has so far given no indication that it's willing to commit to such a sacrifice in order to push the deal over the finish line. Since the CMA findings are still preliminary, the window for Microsoft to appeal the decision hasn't even opened yet. And <laughs> that is the end of both articles. Took me nine minutes. Mm, okay. Nine minutes and <laughs> ten seconds, that is. <laughs> well, So, based on these two articles that I just read, Microsoft has power in this. And, uh, you know, you know, Britain's, uh, you know, Prime Minister is mad at the CMA right now. And, you know, the CMA, um, you know, at first they were like, they didn't, they didn't, they said they, they don't think the deal is going to cause any harm. But, they're worried about the cloud gaming sector and they're talking about it stops competition which, which it doesn't so so the question this because the CMA can't say um, 
Um, uh, they don't think the deal is going to cause any harm, but they're worried about cloud gaming. They can't do that. It's either the deal is going to cause is going to cause uh, harm, or it's not. So now you got, you know, Britain. Um, they're mad at this uh, Britain Prime Minister. I mean, the government is mad at the CMA, and that and this is going to go into uh, Britain courts. Hmm. And the article on Gamers Rant now showing that Microsoft got some power in it. So when um, when Microsoft has said uh, uh, the UK is closed for business, the article here on Gamers Rant now explain it even better now because Microsoft can pull out they I mean they could they could pull out if they if out of the UK if they want to um, they really don't need the um, they really don't need the Federal Trade Commission approval they really don't hmm. um, um, hmm. Microsoft is holding all the cards here basically when, when it's all said and done hmm. you know, and um, you know the European Commission you know they passed the deal. Um, um, they 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 like the remedies that Microsoft offered, and uh, Microsoft was giving out ten-year contracts. <laughs> um, yeah, Microsoft Microsoft has some power. They have some power in this, you know. Um, you know, but to me it's like to me it's look like they they they're playing. They're tr it's like they're trying to play their cards right, so to speak. They could pull up. They could close the deal if they want to, you know. But Microsoft is like, like trying to work with people here before they before they make a decision. You know? So, <laughs> yeah. And then you got Australia, uh, New Zealand. <laughs> you know, they're still they're still looking at the deal. So, yeah. You know, when you when you got when you have uh, China, <laughs> that's a big country. Saudi Arabia. Serbia, Chile, <laughs> Brazil, the Ukraine, <laughs> South Africa, uh, who else? <laughs> Serbia, yeah. Those are, those those are countries, those are governments, man. Um they got a say in the matter, you know. So um Microsoft is really holding all the cards here when you really look at this whole situation, you know. Um the CMA um the CMA got to go through the courts, um, you know, to explain why they why they why they did what they did. But like I said before, you can't um, you can't say, well, we don't think the deal is going to cause any harm, but then you turn around and say, oh, we're more concerned about cloud gaming. You know, cloud gaming is a part of the is is a part of the game industry. So. Um, they um they got some like I told you guys before, they got some explanation to do. <laughs> so yeah, um, the FTC on the other hand now, they got to go through litigations and they tried to remove Nintendo, but they can't do that because Nintendo has a Call of Duty fan base. So they got some explanation to do too. So um, you know, like Phil Spencer said, um, uh, the deal deserves some uh was well, some pushback a little. <laughs> But they're really, but really, Microsoft is holding all the cards here. If they, if they pull out the, um, if they pull out of the, um, of the UK, man, um, it, it, it will be damaging, you know. It will be damaging uh, for the UK. It will be, a, it will be a damage. But I don't think my, Microsoft is like, do we really need to do this, or, you know, do, do we want to lose the, do, do, we, do we want to leave the UK out of this situation, or should we just wait and see what happens and then? You know, go on from there. You know, so they're holding all the cards right. Based on these two articles that I just read, Microsoft is holding all the cards right now. You know, they're holding all the cards, and they're just trying to—they're just trying to be fair. I, they're trying to be uh, fair and honest here. So yeah, hmm. yeah. Um, this is just the CMA in the UK now, and then to take into take into account that. Um, I mean the CMA and the FTC to take enough count that they you know they were they were communicating and they were using the waivers as, as an excuse, you know, to to say that they um, to say that they weren't. <laughs> yeah, um, they got some explanation to do, but right now uh, 
Microsoft has power here, you know. Make no mistake about it. You know, at first at based on all the articles that I read, it looked like it, it looked like they didn't have any any it looked like they were losing power, but they really got up they, they're they're really holding all the cards here. <laughs> you know, they really are. So um uh the CMA um the CMA and the FTC um like I told you guys this is gonna go through the courts. This is gonna go through the courts uh, uh, in the in the overseas in the in the United Nations. You know, this is gonna go to the courts and then overseas. But then this is gonna, but then the FTC got to go to the Supreme Court. So this is going to be a nice little battle, man. You know, um, when you when when you when you have um when you have uh, countries that are governments behind this, man. I mean, look, this is not, this is not like the Nvidia arms deal. It's not. It's a total different, different situation. The Nvidia arms deal didn't have this much, this um um didn't have this much support. Didn't have this much support, meaning that they didn't have a lot of countries like how the Activision Blizzard deal is. But when you have, okay, you got ninety eight percent of the shareholders in this. That's one. That's huge. 98% out of 100. <laughs> if, if, if it was like, say, like, if it was like, uh, say, like, 40% of the shareholders, the deal wouldn't look, wouldn't look good, right? You got 98%. Then you got all the employees supporting this. Then you have the public. And then, at, at first, when this thing started, you just had Serbia, Chile, Saudi Arabia, and Brazil. Those were the main four. But after that, now you got Serbia, Chile, Saudi Arabia, Brazil. You got the Ukraine. You got Japan. <laughs> you got uh, South Africa. And now you have China. That is huge. Those are countries. Those are governments. And they, got, and they have a say in the matter. So... This ain't no, um, this ain't no, uh, um, walk in the park, uh, court case. This is a big, this, this is big, especially when you got countries behind this. If, imagine if you never had the shareholders and the countries behind it, then Microsoft would have a tough time. But when you got the shareholders that has the, that has a, that carries a lot of weight, that's one. But now you got eight to nine countries now behind this makes a whole lot of difference man so um uh the seat this is gonna be uh, like i told you guys before this is gonna be a fight for this case man in the courts so in the in the in the courts overseas and um in the supreme court in the united states because the supreme court got a say in this you know, um and then the uh the, the courts in the united nations they got something got something to say to say about this because when you have countries behind this, man, that shows you how important this case is. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a battle, man. And then you have New Zealand. Who, who, they say, what, New Zealand? They have, uh, they have, uh, who's that? New Zealand. Let's see. Let's see here. Let's see if I can go up. I think they got new, they got uh, two other countries here that they mentioned. Uh, new Zealand, that's, in, that's mentioned in here. Here, that's looking at this. If they if they throw their support behind Microsoft, yeah, <laughs> now it's gonna be up to nine. You know, and if, um, yeah, it's this this case is big, man. <laughs> you know, it started off like you know, Microsoft purchased Activision Blizzard, but when you have countries, um, when you have countries. Oh, you got you got Australia and New Zealand. Australia and New Zealand to uh to, to that's that's probing this case. That means they're looking into it. If they throw their support behind this behind Microsoft, yeah, <laughs> you're gonna have a hard time in the court in the courts. You're gonna have a hard time in the courts. Um. Uh, Explaining explaining why you blocked the deal, okay? Because you cannot say, well, we don't think the deal is going to cause any harm, but we're more concerned about cloud gaming. 
cloud gaming is the video game industry, you know. So you can't you you can't you just cannot say well you know we, we you just cannot say well we don't think the deal is going to cause any harm, but we're worried about cloud gaming. Doesn't work. It's either the deal is going to cause harm or it's not. <laughs> you know. And, and over here in the United States now, the FTC now they got some explanation to do. You know, they already got some strikes against them already. Okay. Because at first you tried to remove Nintendo. First you filed your case late. That's one strike against you. Then you tried to remove Nintendo from the picture. And then you try to make this case about Microsoft. And talking about Call of Duty can't run on the Switch. But if you do your research. Call of Duty was on the on the 3DS. Right. <clears throat> so now you want Nintendo to testify. huh? <clears throat> so basically you, you filed the case. You filed the case. You didn't have one. So you're using Nintendo to build your case. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, this is gonna be a fight, man, for for the for the for this Activision Blizzard deal. So uh, Microsoft got support, like I said before. It would it would be um, if they didn't have all this support behind them, they would have a tough time, man. But since you got you got support, especially with the shareholders and the employees and the public, and now you got countries that carry weight behind all that. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're gonna, and and they have and they have lawyers and they have attorneys. Yeah, you, yeah, you have a you have a tough time in that courtroom trying to fight this case, man. So yeah, um, <laughs> I'm gonna keep you guys posted on this, whatever is going on with this uh, Activision uh, Blizzard deal. But uh, yeah, this is this is pretty big, man. You know, I mean, what if uh, what if Ten Cent would have what if Ten Cent would have bought Activision Blizzard? Then what? <laughs> What if uh, Amazon would have bought Activision Blizzard? What if Google would have done it? Would the FTC and the CMA come at Google and Amazon? I mean, come at Google and Amazon and Tencent like how they're doing Microsoft right now? Or what if Sony would have bought Activision Blizzard? Would the FTC and the CMA do, uh, do the same thing? Come at uh, Sony since they're the one that's doing all the crime? Like how they did Microsoft? I don't think so. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek fan. Thor, Dark Side. Go. Peace.